Hi everybody, old Gary out here at the Fishing Shack and welcome to this week's Fishing Chums Fishing Report. Here we are the middle of April already. Wow, this month's really flying by. You know, this past weekend we had a front come through and this week we've had a couple fronts come through and it's been cool, even cold, right at cold anyway, but that's all going to change. Now Friday, today, it's, it's a little rainy in some areas, it's cooled down in the mid-50s, but starting tomorrow on Saturday, Boy, all through next week, I understand, going to be 60, 65, and the 70s. So things are going to change. That's going to rewarm that water temperature. Have a good show for you today. A lot of photos and uh, good reports. You know, they've slid a little bit due to the fact of all the cool weather this week, but we still have some good reports for you. And I want to thank all the viewers last week. I think it's around between 16 and 17,000 of you viewers tuned in and spreading the word. God bless you. Thank you very much. Boy, we're having a lot of fun here on Fish and Chums. That's for sure. We're going to keep this thing going. We, we uh, have a lot of good news coming your way. All right. Um, and one other bit of business. I want you to have a chance to win this photo right here. Put that up, Kathy. Boy, this is a beautiful uh, photo reproduction. And uh, I tell you, you have a chance to win this thing. All you have to go to go is to our Fish and Chums group on Facebook and register your name. And the first week of May, we're going to draw a name out. And then the first uh, weekend of May, or the first, uh, I guess, Friday of May, I'm going to be announcing the winner right here on Fish and Chums. And boy, isn't this beautiful? Hey, I tell you, I would love to have that hanging in your den, in your fishing shack. All you chummers, get in there and see if you can win this thing. All right, um, boy, we have a lot of photos coming your way. Um, we want to go out to Beaver Lake, starting things out there. That water temperature's kind of dropped out there. It was 58 this morning. Now, last week, it was over 60. But with all this cool nights, cool weather, well, all the lakes have dropped somewhat. But with all that nice weather coming in next week, a week of nice weather in the 60s and 70s, that's going to water, uh, warm that water temperature up, and I'm telling you, those crappie are going to be going to that bank. Maybe midweek next week. Let's wait and see. And the bass will start going back into the pockets. They've kind of moved out for the most part. All right, 58 degrees out at uh, Beaver. They've had, they've had some rain out there, the cold fronts. It's affected the weather. Uh, but I want to say hats off to Richard Lee Rusher. He had his dad out robbed the other day. And look at these fish that they got into. Richard Lee, I, I love it you take your dad fishing. You know, I took my dad fishing a lot. Before he retired, I could hardly get him out. He's too busy. But once I got him out, he never did want to come home. And then when he retired, boy, we got his, his own boat, and uh, he and Mom was out there just about every day. So love for you guys to take your dad fishing. That's awesome. And uh, Richard Lee was out a couple of evenings ago below the dam at Beaver and picked up this nice walleye as well. Kelsey James was out at Beaver the other day, and look at this mixed bag of fish that he caught. Good going, my friend. And so there's been some fish, you know, some people have been getting some stripers, but they're hunting a lot for them on the flats, I understand, and off some of the points in about 30 feet of water, but that changes all the time. Might want to get out to Beaver this weekend, try for some crappie or for stripers, and below the dam, they're releasing a little bit more water than they were a week ago, but they are picking up some fish out there. If you need some help, Need a good guide? Get a hold of Richard Lee Rusher, his guide service down below Beaver Dam. Let's go out to Table Rock this morning. The water temperature was 57 degrees. It was 60, 61 uh, a week ago at this time, but this cool weather has dropped that water temperature. But I'm saying next week with all that warm water uh, weather coming in, they're going to move up. These crappie, the crappie have kind of scattered now at Table Rock. Uh, the fish that they are catching a few off the docks and they have been picking up some around the timber and the brush, but not so much on the banks. They're kind of moving towards that bank. But uh, Kenny Yates was out last weekend. I believe it was on Sunday. I'm not sure on that, but I believe he was up the James River and uh, picked up these nice crappie. Aren't they beautiful? It just shows you the nice crappie that you can catch out of Table Rock when the conditions are right. And uh, let's see... Uh, Crystal uh, Yoakum and her husband Aaron was out the other day on Table Rock and picked up some nice bass. Look at these photos. Good going, guys. Good going. And Kim Turner uh, King was out. She was out the other day on Table Rock and picked up her first walleye. Good going, young lady. Beautiful fish. 
Okay, let's talk a little bit about the bass fishing at Table Rock. We touched briefly on the crappie. Um, the bass have kind of been moving back to the pockets and starting to make their nest and start, starting all this activity back in the coves and the pockets and, and uh, some of the creek areas, but that's all changed because of this cooler weather. They're starting to move back out a little bit, but I'm telling you by the first of the week, midweek, they ought to be getting right back in there and should have some good fishing. The reports we've had the last few days, jerk baits have been back a little stronger than what they were, and they've been picking up some fish on Ned rigs, and we've had some reports on swim baits. So uh, check this out out at Table Rock for the upcoming weekend. Let's go, uh, let's go to Tanicoma. The water temperature is 46 degrees. We're running quite a bit of water out there, and shad are still coming through at time, and so the white baits are paying off. If you're going to try to drift, slow that drift down and go to the white uh, Berkeley Power Eggs. The white has been good. Some people are still using minnows. If you can get in the right situation where that water temp, that uh, drift is not so uh, prevalent, go to drift and minnows. And we've had some reports of night crawlers and some people have been using swim baits out there. They've been picking up some nice browns on occasion. I've had reports anywhere from Monkey Islands all the way down to uh, the Branson Landing. So check this out. Let's do some jerkbait fishing out there for your trout out at Lake Tanicomo. Bull Shoals, Travis Burton was out the other day. Look at this nice limit of walleye. I kind of think he was down below the dam at Power Site. And I'm, I won't swear to that, but uh, anyway, they have been catching some walleye below the dam in the Power Site area. And they've been using some swim baits, some jigs and some jerk baits out there and so travis burton beautiful walleye out there uh, nick earl was out there also uh, nick uh, you picked up some really nice fish as well and maybe in that same area out at bull shoals that water temperature today was 58 degrees i forgot to tell you that the bass fishing uh, the fish kind of moved out they're getting ready to spawn but uh, that will all change this week this coming week you can get out there and still pick up some fish on swim baits and jerk baits. We, we have reports of a few on crank baits, and they've been picking up some fish, also jigs, throwing jigs. So, Bull Shoals, try that this weekend. The lake is like 22 feet high. Ooh, a lot of water out there. Okay, let's go out to Stockton. That water temperature this morning was 55 degrees. Kyle McMillan was out the other day. Look at this walleye. There you go, Kyle. Good fish. And, uh, Leonard Cutberth uh, was out the other day, and he picked up these walleye out at Stockton. It's been a little strange this week with the cool weather, all the fronts. Slow down a little bit out there, but I know this weekend, starting Saturday, should be able to get out there and try that deep water pattern for crappie like they have been doing. And uh, you might get up in the shallower water and try that 10, 12 foot of water as well. Some people have been... Uh, just using the rigs out there. Other people have been using double minnows on a single rod with a jig. And uh, so get out there and try Stockton this weekend. Bass fishing has been fair, slowed down a little bit. They've been picking up some bass on jerk baits, swim baits, and jigs out at Stockton. Palm de Terre, 57 degrees out there. You know, over the past weekend, it was up around 60, 61, but it has dropped. But I want to go out to Palmy and Eric Massey. Boy, they always catch fish out there. They're good fishermen out there. He takes his son, Zach, out and his buddy, Preston, and look at these beautiful fish. Over the weekend, Eric caught them in about 15 feet of water. He said they were scattered because of that front last weekend. Probably been more scattered now, but hopefully they'll regroup this weekend. And they did catch some real nice fish on jigs, swimming jigs out there. And again, about 15 feet of water. Bass fishing's been fair, not many bass fishermen out. They've been picking up some fish on jerk baits and jigs out at Palm de Terre. Truman, the water temperature's eh, just still around 55 degrees. Uh, I tell you what, Ronnie uh, has, was out the other day. Look at these beautiful crappie that he caught. And uh, nice fish, nice fish. Michael Parker was out also uh, last week and picked up some beautiful crappie. Good crappie when they do catch them and they're up in the creek areas and about 10 feet of water. Some people are going to the back of the creek and kind of working their way out. You just have to experiment where they might be. But when you do find them on jigging minnows, some people are doing a double minnow rig out there and uh, they are picking up some nice fish. 
Michael Parker, boy, beautiful fish, beautiful fish. And uh, they've been picking up these fish back in the creek arms out at Truman. When they do get them, they're nice. And they've been picking up a few fish down below the dam, but that has slowed a little bit. Hopefully that will pick up this weekend. Okay, let's go out to Lake the Ozarks. The water temperature was 57 degrees out there. Kyle was out the other day, Mr. Crappie. Look at these beautiful crappie that he caught. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. And uh, Dustin Rourke was out the other day, crappie fishing, picked up this nice walleye. Norfolk, water temperature around 59 to 60, you know, it was up around 64 last week, it has dropped. Crappie scattered a little bit, not quite as good fishing as it was a week ago, but they are picking up some crappie and uh, more in the brush piles now in about 15 feet of water. And uh, I don't know what this front's done to them, this last one, but they were, they were when it was stable, picking up some uh, top water stripers out there, especially in the evening at night. Boy, wouldn't that be fun out at Norfolk. Well, I want to thank you very much for being with us. Again, I want to repeat myself. We have good weather starting tomorrow, Saturday, and it's going to continue all week up in the 60s and 70s, and that's really going to get these crappie moving towards that bank. That's for sure. So, chummers, God bless you. Let's take a little business, take care of some business now. Are you folks uh, viewing every week on uh, on YouTube? Thank you very much. Be sure to subscribe. There you go, Kathy. Put that button. Subscribe. And that way you'll never miss out on anything that's happening here on Fishing Chums. If we have any specials or anything, you'll be notified. And we'd love to have you subscribe. That's tell your friends about us. And be sure to like and share. Okay. Also, uh, for people over on Facebook. Golly, we have this group that's going fantastic. A lot of people joining our group. Thank you very much for our group, and be sure to sign up for this photo. Right here, Kathy, put it up one more time. We're going to be uh, drawing the name out on May 1st. Go to our group, sign up, you bet. And also, if you have any information you'd like to send us, you can or photos, you can go to our group, or you can get a hold of us at our internet, gmail, uh, fishingchums at gmail.com. And uh, that's about it. We want to thank you very much for being with us. It's going to be nice this weekend. And if I don't see you on the lake this weekend, I want to see you right back here next week at this same time. God bless you all. Kathy, roll those awesome photos.